16-year-old sentenced to prison for drive-by shooting involving a five-year-old. Y'all, the youth is getting out of hand. Let's get into this one. A Tulsa County judge sentenced a 16-year-old boy to more than 50 years in prison for shooting a five-year-old girl during a drive-by shooting, having guns, drugs, and stealing cars. Noah Nay, I think it's Nay, uh, was charged as an adult with the 2022 shooting. But just last month, while in custody, prosecutors say he escaped from the juvenile justice center by jumping the wreck yard fence he was captured days later here's the thing when people when they put these kids or whatever these youth into these facilities i don't see any real security going on you know what i mean because these kids just be able to just leave you know what i mean and it's just like, oh yeah, yeah, we forgot. Uh, you know, there's supposed to be a security guard over here. Or, oh man, I guess we just didn't know about it. Ooh, I mean, that's crazy, right? And it's like, this person is a armed person or rather this person is a dangerous person. You know what I mean? So it's like, there should be more security going on, but let's continue. Prosecutors say Nay shot the little girl during a drive-by shooting that was a part of a gang initiation. So essentially what's going on nowadays is there, and I guess it's been going on for a while, where if you want to get in this gang, you got to prove that you are hard hitter uh, are a hard hitter and stuff like that. So you would have some things where they're like, okay, well, we're going to go ahead and beat this person up. Meanwhile, you have other things where it's like, nah, I need you to go and kill somebody or shoot somebody to prove that you're hard. Let's continue. Prosecutors say Nay is dangerous and Tulsa is safer with him going to prison. A woman who testified to defend Nay said in court that Nay is dangerous. <laughs> what? Prosecutors say the five-year-old girl was playing outside in, in April of 2022 when Nay drove by in a stolen vehicle and fired shots, hitting the girl in the neck. Prosecutors spent very little time talking about the shooting during the sentencing hearing and instead highlighted the several interactions Nay has had with law enforcement in the last five years, including robberies, gun charges, and drugs. Prosecutors say Nay has a box full of incident reports from his time in the juvenile justice center where he's accused of flooding his cell y'all accused of flooding his cell and assaulting staff members throwing cups of water in jail staff members faces smearing feces on the walls of his cell and more prosecutors show social media posts of pictures and videos of nay holding guns and flashing gang signs nay's attorney argued nay's behavior is a result of his parents and argued Nay hasn't been given all of the treatment avail options available. Nay's father has been in and out of prison and Nay's mother, mom, testified that she blames herself for her son's behavior. Nay's aunt testified Nay had been ne uh, neglected his whole life but says she saw some progress when he lived with her and her husband for a year. She said if Nay was allowed to stay with her, she doesn't think that he would be in trouble like this. He has several opportunities. I have treatment records in a packet that is thicker than a dictionary that shows treatment attempts that he rejected by escaping or assaulting staff that was there to help him get treatment. Okay, an attorney said. So they're trying to make it seem like, well, I mean, he just wasn't helped as much as he should have been helped. And it's like, well, we got all these options for him to utilize and he chose not to use them. So... How was he not helped as much as he could have been helped if everything is here laid out for him? Okay. The judge told Nate uh, there would be a judicial review of his sentence in five years. And if he proves to the judge that he has changed he and can be a productive member of society, he can reduce his sentence. Why are we reducing sentences for people who have drug charges, gun charges, uh, armed robbery, grand theft auto, you tried to go and, sh I mean, you shot a five-year-old and you tried to kill this kid. Why should you even get an opportunity to be out here in the uh, public with everybody else? Why should you be given the opportunity to just chill out with everybody else if this is what you've been doing and this is the kind of person you are? Let me know what y'all think about this story down below. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and also leave a comment down below. 
I would also appreciate it if you could go on ebay.com, simply type in Latrice Limited, click on shops, and then you can support me right over there. I have a wide variety of items over there. I have many of my own personal Latrice Limited items, which has candles, bath bombs, soaps, essential oil blends, lingerie robes. I have a whole bunch of stuff. I even have comic books on there, men's ties, action figures, a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Definitely support me on there. Like I said, do not forget to like and subscribe and thank you.